Okay, we'll call to order the meeting of the Elkville Planning Commission for Thursday, February 1st, 2024. Since I haven't done it in a while, I'll leave some budget reasons for us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mike, roll call, please. David Drake. Here. Dan Swafford. Here. Steve Hale. Here. Zach Michael. Pamela Pupil. Here. Brian Skaggs. Here. Jeff Rossi. Here. Okay, next item on our agenda is approval of the minutes for the meeting of 11, January 11th, 2024. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, next is the monthly conflict of interest statement. Don't believe there will be any. We have no old business. New business is resolution 01-2024 to authorize the Ellsville Planning Director to temporarily waive the temporary sign permit applications and fees for the solar eclipse event. Um, if you live in Ellsville, I'm sure you know by now that we have a solar eclipse coming on April 8th. So on January 19th, the uh, chamber had a solar panel and a luncheon to talk about the event and the effect on businesses and um, businesses need to get a plan in place, et cetera. So a couple of business owners approached me about the sign code, temporary sign code um, for banners. They'd like to put banners out on their property for um, things that they're doing, maybe camping on their lot, et cetera. So currently our town code for temporary sign permits, um, you pay $40 for 30 days and then um, has to come down 10 days before it can go back up. And I thought about it and we want the businesses to succeed and have a good experience with the event. Um, town supporting businesses in this and um, I'd like to waive the temporary sign permit fee and application for um, about seven days. I just don't think it's fair to charge them forty dollars when they may have their banner up only a week so i think i have it for um thursday through the next wednesday or wednesday through wednesday and so i talked to darla and she prepared the resolution okay does anybody have any questions for denise and if you have any questions too about um, what's going on for the Solar eclipse are the effect on the town. Um, Zach Michael, um, who just came in, um, is back on the plan commission, so we welcome him. But he's also on the panel along with uh, Chris Klaus, deputy fire chief, representing Ellettsville um, at various meetings in Monroe County, I think, um, about planning and strategic planning and what we're expecting. So. Um, did you want to say a little bit, or you just want to answer questions? I can answer questions if anybody has any. Okay. Are you pretty confident that's enough time before the event? Well, Zach asked me about that today, but um, if you'd like to extend it, I'm fine with that. <clears throat> now, how about afterwards? Are we going to do anything to if they don't pull their signs up? Um, we'll publicize it. They can do this with, with the businesses. We'll let them know. Um, probably put it in a chamber newsletter. So um, if they don't have them down um, by the end of the um, period that's waived, uh, we'll probably give them a few more days, but then we'll be getting after them to remove them. Okay. Does anybody think we should start it a little bit sooner? Well, I think, um, you know, a week's pretty good timing because I think a lot of these people are going to be coming in from out of state and other areas. So actually, they're not going to see the sign until they head this way. So I, I think a week's fine. I mean, 
the the local people around i'm sure they're if they got a big event going on they're going to advertise it in other places too but that's just my thought yeah all our stuff that i use starts on friday so that's probably so you said wednesday right to start wednesday to wednesday well, this is thursday thursday and when is the date it's what thursday it's through monday april 8th is the eclipse yeah Okay. Do we have a good idea of how many people will be in town for the event, or is there, there might be a question for Zach? But We're hearing anywhere from 100,000 to 300,000. Yeah, I'll say, has there been something like this, I'm sure, in other areas or other states that we could kind of pull data mm -hmm. from on that? Is that where they're. Yeah, we're there? basing that on uh, Southern Illinois University. This is the last mm -hmm. after action review that we. This happened in 2017, I think, is when it yes. was. So that's a state projection, though. So. Mm -hmm. I do have a question. I've been that. So, like, and I don't know because I've never been to one, but I heard like sometimes people would just like gather on the highway or, okay, do you guys have a plan though to hurry up and get people away from everything if <laughs> we have an emergency like ambulance or? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Chris yeah. Boss and I are working on the incident action yeah. plan for the town. We hope to have that done by the end of the month, a finalized version to present to the supervisors. Okay. So. Um, the University of Illinois, Zach mentioned, I forget what interstate goes through there, but they said, or yeah, they had a, a like 75 mile backup. And um, I never talked to Zach about it, but we've been told that people just will stop and get out, just stop their cars wherever. Lenses. You know, mm -hmm. it's so be that's why Zach and uh, yeah, Deputy great. Chief Chris Klaus are serving on, with other emergency management um, people throughout the county to organize a, a plan and um, town halls closing that day. And so's RBB schools. And um, um, I think Department of Public Works will be working because I think they'll have equipment yeah. Position throughout the town. Is it? Go ahead. Is that projected for the whole weekend, or is it just like a, a slow? I don't know. I think it's just to that day. Those projections are for that day, but you can anticipate. You're going to see a lot of them trickling in. They're saying as early as Monday. It could be even earlier than that. So. Um, isn't the center of it? now just east of CVS. It was Wee Willie's, yeah, now the center. A couple of times. Originally it was like Jiffy Treat over Richland Plaza subway, but now it's kind of, they've moved it just a little bit east. So, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to, you know, the businesses to do well. Sure. I have no problem with that. Um, is the town going to be putting up signs saying, like, don't stop in the middle of the highway or anything <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> It's not something to speak to us, but yeah. I mean, even signage as you come into the town, like pull over to the side at least or something, you know. Keep the the main highway clear for emergency vehicles or. Or else a semi will be behind you and move you out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> or will hold your head and make you look directly at the sun for five seconds or so. One of the people on the panel, maybe it was. Jamie and I forget her last name with emergency management said that um, you're going to have astrology people, professors, and there's going to be such a variety of people because I guess it'll be some time before this happens again. And I figure um, Nebel, that's her last name. The news crews from all over the country will be in, so mm -hmm. it's going to be supposed to be in Bloomington, you know. Um, they're having something at IU because William Shatner's going to be there, but <laughs> but um, they're expecting the stadium to be packed. I learned this in another uh, meeting I went to. It was actually about trails and not about the uh, solar eclipse, but it turned into that. But um, a guy from Bloomington said they anticipate it being packed because they're also going to have buses have other locations and they'll bus people in. How, how far away from the center do they expect people to be? 
say. You don't have to say. I that to a point because um, we have a business in Paoli as well, and the Paoli uh, Chamber of Commerce is saying they're they're expecting anywhere from 100 to 150 thousand people in, in Paoli. Paoli. Yeah, I guess they're they're that'll go down under. The line. Yeah. <laughs> so it must go 40, 50 miles, 60. Yeah, there's a band there's a I think that, yeah, that goes down through the states. I think it goes through three states, something like that, or is it the whole country? Oh, yeah. That yeah. there's a really neat um, website that. It shows like a video of it moving and what time it's anticipated to go through yeah, different I mean, states. What is it being like how long it'll be dark? Yes. And I think Eltsville is like four, four minutes, minutes, four minutes and four eight something. seconds. Yeah. yeah. In Paoli, it's like two minutes and forty-eight seconds. So I, I mean, see. it's not. It's not a tremendous <clears throat> difference. It'll now the band be. goes basically from Evansville to in, up to Putnam mm -hmm. County. Let's see. And runs from southwest to northeast. Yeah. It's going to be quite the event. Yep. But we are right in the middle center line. Mm -hmm. Four minutes. <laughs> I would not drive anywhere for four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, telling people to get your gas and groceries in the week before, and businesses yeah. are to get their shipments in early and. Like around here, when someone mentioned snows, all the shelves get emptied off the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Egg for yeah. Milk. Eggs, milk, bread. <laughs> I'll stay at home. <clears throat> okay, your three minutes is out. So, do you. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you want to extend it back further? Like I said, my thought is everyone's going to be coming from out of state, so they're not going to be here a week before and be able to see those signs. So, I think just a week is fine. I mean, so Thursday through Wednesday and the events on Monday, right? Yeah. So I think that's fine. I agree. Okay. Okay. Any more questions from the commission? Uh, actually, I've got a, a quick question about just the signs in general. Uh, I've noticed some of the uh, black with the neon lettering signs are popping up again. And, I haven't seen any. And I know we kind of put an ordinance out years ago to get rid of those. Mm -hmm. And I just noticed one again today, and I was just, I didn't know if we had lifted that ordinance or whatever. No, I haven't seen him. If you'd let me know where it's at, we'll take okay. care of it. I will. Okay. Is there anyone from the public that would like to address this? Seeing none, do we have a motion? I have moved we approve resolution 01 2024. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, Mike, roll call, please. David Drake. Yes. Dan Swafford. Yes. Steve Hale. Yes. Zach Michael. Can I vote since I was late? <laughs> yes. 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 Pamela Samples. Yes. Ryan Skaggs. Yes. Pat Wozlowski. Yes. Thank you. And we should um, say that uh, Zach is replacing Sandy, first meeting this month, but he's been on the plan commission before. Yeah. So, welcome. We took it easy on you this month. <laughs> okay, next item on the agenda is planning department update. Uh, next meeting is March 7th. I anticipate a long meeting. Um, so, um, on my original agenda, I did put February 7th for your next meeting, but it's um, March 7th. Um, I'm expecting new business, but I haven't received any applications yet. And um, also, I want to announce that Sandy's retirement party is tomorrow at 12 o'clock here in Town Hall, and we'd like for everybody to make it if you can. And I will have to say congratulations, Sandy, now, because I will be in Jasper tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Uh, privilege of the floor. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address us on something that we haven't discussed yet tonight? Seeing none, are there any planning commission comments? 
Seeing none, we will be adjourned.